Often, I'm one of the first professionals that clients call when they first separate from their spouse. So I'm usually guiding them starting right from the early stages of their separation. And there were a lot of firsts for them, meaning the first time something happens that they're not used to dealing with, that I often get asked a lot of questions about. And one of those firsts is when the soon-to-be ex arbitrarily decides that they want to see the kids, even though they are, for argument's sake, with you during that day or that week. So the spouse just goes to the school or daycare or babysitter to pick up the kids while the other spouse, you, is at work or not aware of it. Now I say for argument's sake because if you've only recently separated, then this scenario that I'm talking about assumes that you don't have a court order in place yet, or a separation agreement, or a parenting plan. Which means there's no custody or visitation plan or access plan as of yet. And when a scenario like I just described happens, where a soon-to-be ex arbitrarily decides to pick up the kids when it wasn't prearranged with you, the question that I often get asked is, can I call the police or can I have a soon-to-be ex charged with kidnapping? The reality is that until there's a separation agreement in place or a court order stating who has access to the kids and when, then you both do have the right to equal parenting. So you can't have your soon-to-be ex charged with abduction or kidnapping or any other crime unless he or she takes the children and doesn't bring them back to you. However, if that were to happen, you'd probably be better off to file an emergency motion in court so that you can get a court order in place rather than filing criminal charges against your children's other parent. It would be considered child abduction when a parent takes the children without your consent and refuses to bring them back to you. In these situations, of course, it's recommended to pursue a court order. If you have any questions about this video, or divorce in general, by all means just send me an email, mike at thedivorceguy.ca, and I'd be happy to answer any of your questions that are under my area of expertise, or I can refer you to the best colleagues I know in, this, in, in town, and they'll answer your questions for you. And be sure to check out my friends over at divorcespecialistgroup.com. They have a really good download. It's a divorce checklist that you can get for free, and there's a lot of great information in there. And don't forget to click on thumbs up.